This is a quick follow-up video to my other video where I talked about how you can wire your house using 4-wire, Cat 3-wire that might already be in the walls. So it, again, if you have um, two twisted pair wiring in your wall used for telephones, that can be converted to network wiring. Now there were some questions about how to actually do the wiring and so I'm going to give a demonstration. What I have here is a regular 8 wire um, network cable. And what I have done is I've chopped off one of the ends and I am in the process of wiring it up using only 4 wires. I have chopped off 4 of the wires and I am in the middle of wiring it up using only 4 wires. And I will show you that using just these 4 wires we will have a 100 megabit uh, network. So what is the wiring order? It is orange dashed on pin 1. This is pin 1 when you look at the gold connectors. Pin 1 is on the left here. So I have white and orange first, solid orange second, white and green third, and then in the sixth position I have solid green. So solid green is all by itself over here in the sixth position. So, um, I, anyway, so here is the wire. I am going to, um, I'm going to terminate this and then take you over to a computer and show you that this, if you wire like this, this will work. And then again, if you're doing your house, you just repeat this on the other end of the cable on both sides in this order. And this wire will, the wire through your house will become effectively a patch cable um, running at 100 megs per second. Just put this wiring on both ends and you will have a 100 megabit connection. The reason I don't have to worry about this is the ones that are cut off are effectively dead on this side and only the four wires that are on this side are going to be live so this will work. This is the same as if I only had the four wires on this side wired up. Anyways, I need to terminate this and then I need to... Um, I'll take you to test it. I can figure out which way this goes. Alright, let's terminate it. Okay. Cut this off and let me grab a pair of scissors. I should have got to the should I should have cut those. I really don't like these pass-through connectors, but they're good for demonstration purposes. Let me chop these extra ends off here. All right, that should work. Let's take you to go and test it. I'm going to keep this as a continuous video so you know that there's no shenanigans here. Take you into my living room where I'm actually working from home because of the pandemic. So here is a, it's hard to do with one hand. Here is a um, power over Ethernet adapter. I am plugging the good side in on this side. And the reason I'm using this in my living room is because I have this temporary setup and I need internet. And you can see the lights, you can see here. Uh, the network light is still off because I haven't plugged in the other end yet. So here we go, one long cable. I'm going to plug it into my computer here. And there you go, you are connected to the internet and you can see that is the four wire cable and the power of ethernet adapter is hot and we come over here you are connected and let's see um, view your network properties uh, ethernet it is a hundred megabit connection 